Okay, we are about to do our live broadcast reveal. Almost there. On Periscope, and we, we are like so minutes. excited. We've never done Periscope before. Um, the other day we watched a live, or actually it was yesterday, we did. a live broadcast that the Freedom Theory did, uh, Kaylee, awesome. and that was so much fun. Very, so, it's so cool how interactive it is. It's so interactive, so I don't know how many people are going to be watching our Periscope, but we are so excited to show off our new house. <laughs> Very excited. Here we go. Hello everybody! Hello, hello! The Scots are here! We are the Scots and we are right here live on Periscope for the first time. Very first time Very ever. Very first time being live on the inner tubes. Okay, so before we say anything else, we want to tell you, we are using what's called an Olo clip, which gives us a wide angle on our phone camera. For our wide bodies. <laughs> <laughs> so that when we're inside, you can see everything a lot better. Yes. So if you can see both of us. We can't see the screen. We can't see the screen. So, so we can't any, see your comments or yeah, questions. We won't see comments if you see both of us, okay? Well, see, now Brian just left because he's trying to see if anybody's there. It looks like we have four people on. Okay, four people. Hello, everybody. Hello, four people. So get back in here, baby. Hi, Toad. <laughs> no, really, it's just Toad 63. Okay, okay, get back in here. Okay, so just to make that clear, if you can see both of us, we can't, we see, can't you. see you. And if maybe <laughs> if other people join in and they're saying stuff, feel free to let them know we don't see them. Uh, when we get inside, we'll have one of us behind the camera pretty much most of the time. Yes. So that one of us can see questions or, or anything that you want us to point out. We're going to be pretty thorough showing you all the awesomeness. It's extremely awesome. That is our new what, baby? It's our brand new Montana High Country 340BH. And that's a 2016, by the way. 2016. Brand what? spanking new, ordered for us. Uh, we are currently where? We are currently in Granville, Michigan at the Walmart parking lot because at our campground we unfortunately don't have any signal and so we had to bring it out here so we could do our live reveal for you. Yeah, very important. We could not miss this. Yes. We did miss it yesterday. Unfortunately, we did miss it yesterday. We had this wild drama going on before we could actually take our, uh, our trailer off the lot. We but had to do a spontaneous 200 mile round trip to road get a trip cashier's check. To get our cashier's check. I did 200 miles in under three hours. We don't need to advertise that fact. <laughs> don't tell the cops. And if you're a cop, sorry. Yeah, so we made it back at 5.30 on the nose with our cashier's check so we could take this bad boy home last night. Yes, we did. Then it was pitch black. Way too dark last dark. night to, to, to do anything cool and to show you guys all the cool stuff. So, so that's why we kind of planned ahead and gave you guys this time to join us. So without further ado, hopefully people have joined us by now. I'm going to so. get behind the camera and you can lead us inside. Oh, you guys get the best view in the house. That's right. Here we go. Checking it out. This thing is just huge. Look at how tall this thing is. And I mean, we're short people and all. 13 feet but high. It's 13 feet high. Come on in. We're going to show you inside first so you don't get all antsy seeing like storage compartments and boring stuff. And here we go. This is our wonderful living area. So as you can see, we do have two full, uh, two wonderful plush theater seats that do recline. Very nice. I'll even show you. Ooh. Oh yeah. Uh, when it goes back to super, super comfortable. And we got cup holders. My, my personal favorite. Nice little cubby for remotes. Ooh. And Christy's favorite feature of this entire trailer. Yes. The fireplace. Bam! Look at that. Beautiful. It's actually putting off wonderful heat right now. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's warm and toasty for sure. And then we have a nice TV here with plenty of storage space. And there's Look even that. storage behind this TV. You gotta see this. TV. This is like one of the coolest little things. Look at that. We can keep like all our DVDs and everything else back there. Super cool. Like I said, we're gonna get kind of detailed because Everyone's seen pictures and videos of these things online. Being in it is different. Now, back behind you, we actually do have a love seat here, which does fold out into a trifold bed, which yes. is very, very nice. He showed us how to do it. It's pretty simple. I love it. Plenty of storage up here. Nice. Individual lights. Look at that. Ooh. That's one of the things I have to mention. It's so bright in here. Yes. Um, I don't know how well it comes across in video, but... 
The lights are actually like, here, why don't you film me for a second? Okay. <laughs> um, the lights are actually better in the daytime because at night it like blasted us out of here. <laughs> we had to turn off most of them. Um, we had just like a couple little accent ones on. I don't see any reason unless you're like doing something super detailed why you would ever need that much light at night. But what it's fantastic for is during the day, um, it's already pretty bright in here naturally, but if you have a cloudy day or you're in the forest parked among the trees and it's dark inside, this really helps light up in the daytime. Um, and one of the awesome changes of this particular one from when we ordered it, even though it was still 2016, so I'm not sure what happened, but they added a kitchen skylight. Oh, look at that. It even has a blind on it. Yes, it does have a pull blind on it. But that really helped to brighten up sort of this area, which when we saw this model at the lot, it was a little bit dark right here because there's no windows on this side with the kitchen. So them adding that feature was just a huge, huge upgrade. We absolutely love that. Isn't that nice, guys? So, anyway, would you like to show them your kitchen? Uh, yes. Okay. Brian is the chef in the family, for those of you who don't know us. Yes. So he is going to show off his favorite part of the fifth wheel. The fridge. Oh, and Sarah <laughs> Sarah says those ceilings are insanely tall. Yes, they are, Our Sarah. Kids, I mean, look at this, look at this. I can't. <laughs> and right? If you know me, I'm pretty tall. Yeah, right. No. <laughs> uh, so let's start with this wonderful, huge fridge. Huge, almost residential size fridge. This is incredible. Open that all up. See the insane Ooh. amount of food we don't have right now? So we just got a couple things for a couple little meals. Beautiful. Now hold on, don't close that yet, because I have to show off my favorite thing about this refrigerator. Oh yes, little slide bars right here. They so when you don't have it full of food, because who fills a fridge this big all the time, you can move these to wherever your food is and keep it from sliding around as you drive. Awesome. How awesome is that? Incredible. Love Incredible. that feature. No door ginormous fridge. We should have no excuses for not clean eating now, right? Yeah, I'm sure we can find excuses <laughs> to not clean eat. <laughs> oh man, if your husband's six foot two, yeah, he would love one like he this. He would absolutely love this. Um, so <laughs> here we have our island with our double sink. Which Beautiful. Is very, very cool. Excuse our dishes, we are not hooked up to water, so we have a few things in here. But it's kind of nice, you can hide it all away in those instances. Oh, we have the retractable. Yes. Now that's for me because he's the chef and I'm the dish doer. So yeah. that's that's my little thing. We have some cabinetry over here. And this is shallow cabinetry, but we're already starting to find uses for it. Yeah, it's great for medicines and little stuff. He's probably going to put spices in there. That's indeed true. Then we come over here to oh, pantry space. There is so much space. These are super deep. We, we just basically put here, you might have to come out of there because you can't really see it at all. So, tons of space. Uh, we've just started to put a couple little things in there that uh, we had with us. So organizing for real will be a completely different endeavor, but that's just a few things we had with us on the road. Go ahead, baby, sorry. Okay, and as you can see, it's pretty deep. I can reach my, my short little arm all the way into there. Yeah. <laughs> to the back of the wall. Very deep. Um, we have plenty of under cabinet space Okay, here. let me come around. Come around. Yeah, there's a ton of space under here. Very, very nice. Drawers we also have. Bum, ba, ba. Our trash can drawer. Now we don't have to worry about the dog getting into the trash. Yeah, she's good at that. Yep. More drawer space. Now, we do have my stove here. It's your normal three burner stove. It's updated. And the thing that I love about this is it's got a sparker, so I no longer have to use my barbecue lighter to uh, light my burners to cook something, which is really, really, really nice. Um, I got a little bit taller of a oven now as well. So <laughs> we're, we're being asked how secure are the cabinet doors when there's things in there? Well, they're pretty, pretty secure. Um, I would probably still just to be safe. Actually, there's really no reason to tie them down when yeah. we're moving because this slide comes in. 
and prevents these doors from opening. Exactly. These ones over here would be the only concern, but yep. there's not going to be anything heavy in there. And everything in here has a small <laughs> yes. lip. Yes, <laughs> the trash can drawer is genius. <laughs> <laughs> everything in here has a small lip, so it won't be falling forward. And mostly stuff in here is going to be spices. Yeah, little medicine, stuff. So nothing really heavy. You really have to worry about it, Sarah, when stuff is heavy. Uh, that's really the only time it's a concern. More space up here. Cabinet space down here as well. Oh, wow. See, I forgot about that one already. That's huge. <laughs> you can fit like a griddle in there and stuff, right? At least. Big stuff like that. Yeah. Cool. Um, we have our microwave here, a huge microwave. Beautiful. And it's also a big fan. Nice. Very nice. Oh, yay. I think we got a heart. Oh, we did. We got Let hearts. those hearts fly. And the Freedom Theory has finally said hello and joined. Hello, guys. <laughs> hello, Josh and Kaylee. <laughs> okay. You missed the beginning, guys. <laughs> Beautiful. So now, where would we like to go? Okay, let's see. We've seen most of the kitchen. Well, since we've had a couple people join, I'm going to spin real quick. Like, uh, to, to leave hearts, you just tap the screen. Oh, you don't want me to spin? No, you can spin. That's cool. You go right ahead. And in fact, we haven't uh, <laughs> talked at all about the dinette. So how, my arm's getting tired. Why don't you let me okay, we'll have switch a turn off here. here? Okay, so... Um, oh, they are things... lighting up those hearts. Thank you, guys. Yes, yay! So we're really excited to have a freestanding dinette this time instead of the bench seats. It'll just be a lot easier for getting up and down when the kids are with us and everything. Um, we do have an extendable table. Well, it, it's clipped underneath. I don't, actually don't know how to do that. I'll let you do that. But, okay. Um, I wanted to show you something really cool because not every freestanding dinette has this. Every single chair, you can lift up the seat what? and there is storage. What? Incredible. Genius. And it's, it's fairly shallow, but it's enough for, you know, we're going to keep like some office supplies in there. The straps that hold the chairs down are in there. What's that, an 11 inch MacBook um, Pro? I might keep my, yeah, computer, <laughs> coloring book stuff, you know, just little stuff like that. Um, so oh, people we'll, like that. I'll come back to this in just a second okay. so I can take a break from holding the, <laughs> the camera. I'm going to show you guys the bunk room, oh. which is really the reason we bought a fifth wheel like this. Uh, for those of you who don't know us that well, Brian has two kids. Yes, I do. They're 12 and 15. <laughs> and we are in the process of using a surrogate to try to have a couple little ones of our own. So, bunk space was a necessity. Come with me. Here we have a four bunk bedroom. Absolutely love this room. There's tons of storage space for kids' little things. The bottom one has all these great drawers on this side. Tons of storage over here for books, toys, games, anything you can think of. You can mount a TV here. There is a, a mounting spot in the middle and the, the cable. Thank you, guys. That was is. very nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> like I like the amount of windows that the kids have in here. Mm -hmm. That's just awesome. Um, on this side, this is a flip-up bunk, which is probably also clipped, and I'm also terrible at these things, so, oh, see, yeah, I can't, I totally can't do it, <laughs> but this flips up out of the way, so our, our most likely plan, um, since we will have only our kids with us most of the time, is that they'd use these bunks, this would be flipped up, and then you can just use the couch as a couch really easily to hang out in here with the kids or for them to have a place to hang out. No, Sarah, we put our kids to work. They would not sleep all day. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Gumbo Head. You guys have a wonderful day. Um, and then this is a jackknife sofa, so it just pulls out real easy into a bed, and it's actually really comfortable. Okay, Wild Closet is actually right here. Yes. Sorry, they asked a question. No, that's great. <laughs> I was going to get to this, I promise. So these again are quite deep and you can put a lot of stuff in here and I mean we're coming from a trailer where the kids were sharing one tiny cabinet not even the size of like one of these sections so between all of this and the drawers and all those space on the wall it's a ton more storage um, and there's also a ledge up here and another hookup where you could put a TV or a lamp or whatever you want up there and kids on the top bunk can put stuff up there as well. 
Yes, lots of space, Sarah. So we freaking love this room. You want to show the jackknife tri or the jackknife sofa? You think I'm capable of this one? Totally. Let's see. And there is oh, room yeah. to store stuff underneath. Oh yeah, check that out. Awesome. That's our new sticker map. Yep. <laughs> and then the sofa comes down into a beautiful uh, bed. Look at that. Yeah. Check that out. That's pretty nice and comfortable. You draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. I really like it, and it's easy enough for even me to do it, apparently. Yes, Sarah, Jack Knifery. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hello, Kristen. How are you doing? Kristen so joined. Cool. Awesome. We have people following us. Kristen, our Kristen? Stepina. Kristen, hi! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I'll just move out of the way so you can get a nice view of this room here. Oh, that's a nice view right there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Angels heralding. Pretty great. Okay, here, I'll, I'll uh, take it so you can show them how the table works. Okay. Real quick, like, since I couldn't do it. Okay, so the table, there's a small clip under here that you just unbutton. We pull this out. And then up and in. Table nice. extended. And then you have a lot more room. You can kind of spread your chairs out a little more. It's great. And you can still walk by, even when it's extended. Exactly. You have plenty of room to squeeze by. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it goes in very, very easily. And secures in by just a small strap with yes. a button on it. And bottom in. And it's back. Do you want me to do the, the top bunk? Sure, yeah, because I couldn't do that either. <laughs> Sarah says she loves the demo. Okay, and so the top bunk <laughs> just lifts up and then clips in. There we go. Right there. And right there. Lori says, I wish our table did that. <laughs> Giving you plenty of room to sit down. Lori, did you get to see the storage chairs? That was the best part. Yeah, this is great. Really nice. So I think I want to say, you can get in here with me. Mm -hmm. We're going, we're turning around, so we won't see your comments for a second, guys. Um, I think I want to say that my favorite part so far is it feels so much more like a house. Yes. Yes, it really it does, because we have actual rooms instead of all one space. Like you go upstairs into the bedroom. Yeah, and you have a door into the kids' room. <laughs> that you can close. Yes. Oh, <laughs> so important. So important. <laughs> so, you know, I just feel like it's more like a house. The fireplace, everything just adds to that feeling. Um, and then the other thing I want to say is how beige is this place? Yeah. <sighs> Not really our style. No. If you know it's us beautiful. At all. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely beautiful. But we need a little Technicolor yeah. in our lives. If you know where we come <laughs> from, you know this is not us. Not gonna. So not gonna roll like this. We have been talking about our decor. Yes. And we have just a little sneak peek for you of the color palette of where we are headed. Yes. Are you ready? I, I don't know if they're ready. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. I can't see the screen. Here we go. So they're probably ready. <laughs> Here's your little preview. We got this at Walmart just to wipe our boots off as we come in the door. And this is it. These are the colors we want. And yes, all of them. That's right. Because that's all us. Of them. <laughs> all of them. All right, so we're going to go up to the bathroom and bedroom next. Would you like to be filming or do this? Um, I can film. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, everybody. So now we're actually going up the stairs. And I'm going to show off these compartments for you. Okay. Here we have a little coat closet. Ooh. Where we currently have some coats in my purse, but we're going to add even more hooks and use it for hats and keys and other things like that. Just give us plenty of space in there. It's so nice to not have to have them hanging out here on the walls or anything. Bumping into it, them. And yeah. Knocking things over, getting cat fur on them, whatever. Sarah said you could fit a toddler in there. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> time out, kid. Right? <laughs> That's exactly what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> and then up here we have the control panel, which Brian will explain to you. Yes, all the controls. Lovely, beautiful. We have four different slides, um, every single light in the area. Um, Goodness, we just so many cool buttons to press. This one's the ceiling oh. fan. Yep, that's I, the ceiling fan. I found that fan. one last night. Ooh, who is it? <laughs> oh, oh it going. Right. what? <laughs> and then we have even more storage space above the panel. Yep. Oh, nice for perspective. I appreciate that. Not really. I, I appreciated that. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were totally making fun of me. And we have this wonderful, wonderful window in the hallway as well. Yeah, it's, it's not like a dark 
little cave over here. I do think we might just take these off completely because there is a shade, so we can still have privacy and stuff. But these, I feel like they're just kind of in the way, the way they stick out walking by. D-Long, so, is that Denver? Huh, I think D's on. Hi, Denver. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. All right, bathroom time. One bathroom of our time. favorite spots. Well, my favorite spot. Too. Oh, I guess I have to go in first. Yeah. That doesn't work. Okay. Come on in and check out this bathroom. Wow. A lot of space in here. How beautiful is this? I absolutely love it. I actually have counter space to put a curling iron, a hair dryer, sit here and do my makeup, whatever. We've got some storage here. We've got a huge compartment in here. Nothing really in it yet. <laughs> There's a giant storage space under here. I don't know if you can get in there. Ooh. Ah. Okay, and then talk about storage. So. Right now, I have our shower baskets down in here. I'll tell you when I reach them. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we can, I don't know if you can see them all the way back way there. Way back in there. And all of these cabinets are equally that deep. I mean, I don't even know what we're gonna put in here. I have no idea. <laughs> it's like a crazy amount of stuff. Oh, and, and guys, look at this awesome toilet. I know we don't like to talk about, you know, toilets and stuff. Other than the seat, yeah, or this... the lid, the rest is porcelain. It's... Listen. Porcelain, not plastic. Oh, awesome. And it's huge. Yes. Like you can actually sit on it and not fall off. Great. Oh, and and we have this awesome fan here. Oh yeah, you gotta check this out. So, okay. Chris. So you can actually have different speeds. This opens itself up. What? Starts the fan. And if it starts to rain, it will close itself. Yes, it will. Here's some higher speeds for you. Be careful, oh. we might take off. Yeah. <laughs> I went around too far. So there is that, and that's cool. And then when you're done with it, you just hit off and it takes care of itself. Yep, and then it starts to close itself. Then I want to show you this awesome door. Make sure I can handle this part. Okay, you got a little clip that keeps it all in place when you're moving. Just lift that up. Oh, what? There you go. That is so awesome. And that's a pretty big shower, too. See that? It's a really pretty door. And then I'm going to hop in here just to give you some perspective of how big this really is. Wow. I'm not a small person. I mean, I'm short, but I'm a hefty kind of gal, and I have plenty of room in here. You don't have to be a skinny mini to use this thing. And even height-wise, okay, for uh, comparison, I am 5'5". Five five fairly average height I guess but there are a lot of people taller than me and I can just barely touch the skylight so unless you're really tall you won't have your head in the skylight in this one we have a nice ooh, some water came out <laughs> a nice shower head that you can hold and move around and we have a bench to sit on or for the ladies to shave your legs and well, if you you're know, anything guys, like me, you guys know, shave their legs too. If you're anything like me, that's like really exciting. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't have to try to deal with it anymore. So yeah, that's the bathroom. And we also have some little hooks up here. Nice for hanging towels and stuff. And we did all this stuff with command hooks before, but it's nice to have real ones. Yeah, so. really nice to have real like hardware. <laughs> yeah, and this is a pretty spacious bathroom. When you're in here with the door closed, you don't feel like you're in a little <laughs> poop closet, <laughs> like Brian said in our other one, because it would just be hot and the fan didn't work that well. So this is just awesome. It's doing in your own Brian. Yes. <laughs> so um, if you want, you can show them the bedroom now. You guys okay. ready to see the bedroom? I'm going to take that I as a yes. I got hearts. I got hearts. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let me come back down. <laughs> Excuse us while we shift around. It is a trailer after all. All right, babe. All right. Show them the bedroom. All right. Follow me. It's where the magic happens. <laughs> and our wonderful boudoir. Oh, that bedding looks familiar. Oh, where did, where have I seen that before? <laughs> Weird. It follows us everywhere, yeah, even to does, the hotel rooms, it huh? It does come with us absolutely everywhere. We love having color no matter where we are. Yeah, we have to have a colorful life. Um, so our wonderful spacious bedroom, I can actually change in here. Yeah, this is a big room. It's, look at all this space. I can go back and forth. And... <laughs> 
Yes, because this is how we spend our time, rambling around the bedroom, bumping into things like we're crazy. Um, that's what that's what happens behind the closed doors, guys. That's the magic. <laughs> so we do have our own AC unit back here, our second AC unit. Yes. Um, we have a TV, which we awesome. probably don't use all that much, but no. we have a wonderful dresser here. Oh, that's a blanket I bought. That's a blanket. You didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> really deep drawers, though. Yes, very deep drawers. One feature that I really like is actually there's this nice seating area, so you can sit here and... Enjoy the nice view when you're not at Walmart, okay? Because mm -hmm. we're at Walmart right now. But look, it's still a lot of trees. <laughs> oh, but that's well, it's not also, the feature I like. I like a hamper. It's a hamper. Check that out, guys. A little clothes hamper in here. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, we like that. Um, Let's see, now... Hold on, I want to also mention, that's going to be my cat's favorite spot in the entire world. Yes. She's going to love that. Lucy, okay. Lucy's going to be jealous. Yeah, she will. Now we have a pretty damn big closet too. Oh yes. So I'll let you kind of come over here and look in. So we, we've stuff. shoved all our suitcases and stuff that we had with us. So, but look at the amount of freaking space in this closet. It is washer and dryer ready. We're probably not gonna go with washers and dryers just cause we like the storage space. Um, but it's huge. There's a, a huge shelf up top too. They really yeah. didn't waste any space at all. Nope. Sarah says her eyeballs just came out of her head. <laughs> and you get full length mirrors on the doors, which yes, solves do. another little problem that we've had. We have these wonderful, nice little shelves on each side of the bed. And you've got an outlet over there so you can charge phones and stuff. Right here. Yep. Now, Christy's got a special outlet on her side as well, in addition to I the do. regular you, outlet. You want to show it off? I do. Let me close this up so that way people can get the reflection. Oh, yeah, let's show them. This is how it stays closed when you travel it's yep. got a nice little latch. And you just do this, maybe, there, there we, go. we go, and then everything stays closed as you travel. Hi. Hello. <laughs> okay, I'll come over here. Love the little windows by the bed too, because when you are, um, oh, we were just asked what we're naming it. We don't know yet. I know what I want to name it. It is a great question. You shush. <laughs> we should. You it. shush. We should. We should take a vote. No, because. <laughs> Okay, he has gotten to name everything, you guys. I, I'm good at Wait. naming. Shush. He got to name the biscuit, which was our first little trailer. Mm -hmm. Cute name. I liked it. You got no to name problem. the car that pulled it. It was my car before we even met. Of course I did. Whatever. I named it before he ever came into the picture, guys. And so he named the biscuit. I went along with that because I thought it was cute. No problem. Then we get a new truck and a new trailer, and he goes and names both of them. Hey, if I drive the truck, I get to name it. And you did not disagree with Dorothy. You see, he's got a reason for everything. So I want a chance, at least a chance, to name this one. But he has this idea, and he's already set on it. And I'm afraid if he tells you, you're all going to like it, and it's all going to be over. Oh, baby. Ah, okay. Go ahead. Tell him what you want to name it. Oh, Large Marge. <sighs> All right, guys, weigh it. in your opinion on that one. <laughs> um, so as I was saying, I love the windows by the bed so we can get cross breeze when we would like to. They have no one said anything about the name yet. Whew, okay. <laughs> Everybody's um, like, oh, I hate it. <laughs> I'm probably the only one that likes it. Oh, no, they all just, they, I think they like it. Okay, <laughs> so um, let's show you this awesome feature over here. Oh, yes, yeah, so we have a, a, a regular outlet here. But then in addition to the regular outlet, we have this wonderful charging station. It has USB ports, and then we can also plug in Check um, that out. the 12 volt adapter to have even more space. Oh, I got several no's on Large Marge. Nice. Okay, cool. Great, thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> a couple people liked it, though. You know, just crap on me, that's fine. <laughs> I don't have feelings, too. <laughs> Freedom Theory says they're walking around Lowe's and watching us. <laughs> that's awesome. So, just so you know, that's my side of the bed. Yes. I get the USB ports. What? I don't... I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> what else? Here's a wonderful light switch. Off. On. <laughs> off. On. I think we've all seen those before. We have our own individual thermostat back here, which is awesome. Yes. So cool. But it only does the AC, of course. Yes. Um. So, that's the bedroom. Yes, that's the bedroom. 
So yeah, we, we probably won't use the TV much in here and we talked about maybe moving it to the kids bunk room so we can use it like a TV room over there, but it leaves a pretty nasty look behind it. So we haven't quite figured out what to do with yeah. that yet. Um, and I think I'm going to turn off the generator before we go outside. Okay. Um, so guys, I'm going to let Brian step outside. He's going to turn off the generator so we can then take you on a little tour around the outside without it being too super noisy. So while he does that, I'm going to take one more little walk through the main room. Go, go, go. Hold on, you want to see something cool? Oh, it's Generator's off. Generator's off. Okay. I kept thinking he had to go outside for that. So you're going to take a walk around, I'll turn over. <laughs> you Rambler says we should put an aquarium in there. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Or Sarah says, a painting by Sarah Sophia. <laughs> Wild on the Go says, name the RV the Scott Spot. The Scott Spot? Ooh. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so he's going around turning off the lights because we're going to go outside and show you around the outside like the outdoor kitchen, okay? What? So don't leave yet. This is going to be cool. And I'll just take one more little look around the space for any of you who might have joined us a little bit late just so you can see it all get the sense of the whole space okay there you go oh the colors here we are this is where we are going with our color palette we get lots of hearts for that one i know i love that <laughs> um it is gonna be a little bit more eclectic like in our last one it was kind of like these are our three colors and everything is those three colors um, these are gonna be our main colors which will probably be in the paint and a lot of the main stuff but we are trying to be a little bit more eclectic like some granny square blankets and a bunch of pictures that are different colors and kind of have to not be so strict on like oh well we can't buy that thing we like because it's not one of the right colors so it's still gonna be a little bit more eclectic we are gonna have smart tiles again and all this cool stuff so well, he just closed the door on me, so I have no idea if that means I'm going outside. Let's find out. Can I come out? Yeah. Okay, here we go. We are going outside. Okay. Storage first or outdoor kitchen? Yeah, we'll do storage first. Work our way around. Okay, go for it. So we have some wonderful outdoor storage here. Plenty of space. Um, actually, let me go around real quick and I'll open up the other side and you can see oh, all yeah. the Oh yeah, it is pass-through storage, guys. This is really nice because you can get to it from both sides, okay? And it's extremely deep. We're going to probably have stuff in the middle, too, um, that we can't necessarily reach right away. It's huge. So he's opening up the other door. Hi. There he is! Hello. Yeah, this is a huge, huge storage basement. Yeah, as you can see. Got I lots of hearts for that. <laughs> All this in here. Lori says she misses her outdoor kitchen. Oh, really? I'm sure. You'll see ours here in a couple seconds. It's awesome. So, that's how much space is in here. And this is the small side. Pretty cool. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah says you could fit so many Mexicans in here. <laughs> well, at least we'd always have tamales. <laughs> So yeah, that's our awesome storage apartment. He's gonna come back around here. And then we have, of course, propane. one of our two propane bottles. Yeah, this is just one. We have an identical one on the other side. Sarah, they can all see you. Everybody can see what you're typing, so you're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we have our uh, Cummins Onan 5500 LP generator. Very nice. It's working great so far. Awesome to have a generator and not have to worry about you know, parking up that dinky little generator. Then we have our battery storage compartment. Yes. Plenty more room actually for storage as well. Oh, it's pretty dark, but you can kind of sort of see it maybe a little bit. Freedom Theory says they can't wait to have one of those generators. Uh, it's life changing. It, it really, really is. is. <laughs> we can like boondock like crazy now, right, babe? We just yes, need we solar can. and we're good to go. So, one of my favoriteest, absolute favoriteest things about oh, our trailer snap. is our electronic automatic leveling system. Bum, bum, bum. All I have to do is press this little button right here, boop, and it auto levels the trailer itself. 
All I have to do is sit there, drink my coffee, and watch. Yeah, it's Beautiful. pretty awesome. <laughs> it's so awesome. So cool. That's like one of our favorite things. We knew they were automatic, but actually seeing it is something else. It's pretty incredible. We have all of our connections right here. They're all inside and insulated. Yeah, this is all in this nice super insulated compartment. Everything is all in one place. This works fantastically. Outdoor shower up here. All right, we'll see you guys later, Freedom Theory. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> um, one of the, this is the outside of the living room slide. It's huge, as you can see. We do have awnings on top of each slide. Yeah, that helps keep any weather from potentially getting in there at all. Really great with rain and snow. This is the bunkhouse slide. This thing's huge, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> now, another one of my favorite features is this rack right here. And it's not just one of your normal racks that hangs off the end of the bumper. It actually comes with cod pins. You pull these pins out. And as you can see, it has rubber bumpers right here, which rest on the bumper itself. You put these pins back in. Awesome. It does not shake. No, not at all. That's it's awesome. super solid. So you don't see that RV going down the road with that back rack on it that's like all leaning like this and yeah. hanging off with, it looks all precarious. Definitely. So a nice, big, sturdy rack. And then we can also flip this up and hey, this goes in here. Hey, nice rack. <laughs> you bet you tell that to all the girls. <laughs> um, this is the actual bike rack which goes in here. Um, in fact, I'll just do it for you really quickly. Awesome. There you go. So cool. Isn't it cool though? Love it. And then of course it all stows away nice and neat. Which I love. I love nice and neat. Okay, why don't we move on to the outdoor kitchen and you can finish this later. Oh, we'll put this back in. <laughs> okay, it's outdoor kitchen time. Now, the heart and the soul of this trailer goes right here. Ooh. Look at that, guys. Now it's a little tall for me in case you didn't notice. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I got my sink right here and I'll have to wash my hands like this. But I think I'm just going to build a platform, maybe use a pallet. If you guys have any ideas, please feel free to chime in. Yeah, we um, need a good idea, not like a step stool, you know? So I'm about a foot and a half short. So, But we do have plenty of cabinet space up here on both sides. And we People got like this. <laughs> a wonderful, huge fridge, guys. Look at this. This is all for canned okay, beer. Okay, this is bigger than the re the main refrigerator we had in the biscuit. In the biscuit, yes. And it's almost as big as the one we have in our current trailer that's back in Houston right now. We got some drawers. And then I think one of the coolest features is the swing-out stovetop. So awesome. Look at that, guys. Yeah, with, with wind blocks. Nice. Isn't that cool? Very so cool. cool. And like, you're planning to put a bunch of stuff out here so you don't have to run back and forth, right? Exactly, I'm going to have all my outdoor grilling stuff out Sarah, here. Sarah, no. It's not Large Marge. You stop that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's Large Marge. Margie. Nope. Yes. Nope, nope. Um, but you know last summer he cooked outside so much yes, and we were always running back and forth with stuff from inside Going in and out in and out. I need yeah. butter. I need plates. I need this I so need we that. can keep extra utensils out here cooking utensils grilling spices Butter oil things he might cook with out here. We don't have to run back and forth so much exactly this here's the kitchen slide Yep And then look at these cute little details by the wheel wells. It's a little mountain with the sunshine. Isn't that cute? I love that. Ooh, ooh, I forgot one thing. What'd you forget? The awning. Oh, yes, let's do the awning. All right, let me back up for this. Ready? I'm ready. This is with the push of a button, by the way, okay?
I gotta keep backing up. <laughs> Bam, awning city. And then you can adjust the angle manually, uh, fussing with those supports there, so that you can put a pitch to it. But yeah, that that is so easy. And then you've got your nice little space to hang out under. And I like that the door doesn't like hit the awning like it does on ours. So that's really nice. And another very cool feature is there's a strip of LED lights that goes the entire length of the awning. Oh yeah, can you turn those on? See the lights, guys? What? How cool is that? Oh, we got lots of hearts for that. <laughs> Yeah, we love that. It's great at night. You can see everything along the campsite, see to get in. It's good security lights. It's awesome. And you don't have to like hang up string lights every time. It's great. He's putting it back in now. Oh, he forgot to do something right there. Thank you for the oohs and ahs and the hearts. I love it. I love it. Okay, so while he's doing that, we're getting close to wrapping up the tour. If you have any questions or something you want to see that you didn't see, tell me now. I think they said they want to see more of me. Is that what they said? Kristen does say she's in love, but I don't think she's talking about you. Hey, you never know. You know, it's hard right, let not me to in. love this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see if there's anything else they want to see. Okay, I'm going to go back around and lock everything up. All right. Oh, thank you for the congratulations. We really appreciate that. Anything else anybody didn't get to see? How the windows open. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't done it yet. How do we open the windows, baby? There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Oh, yes, of course they open. With a simple turn of a knob. And this is actually the first time they've been open. Yeah, we haven't we haven't done that yet. It's kind of cold here. <laughs> yep, that's it. And it's nice because they are the the kind that open out like that. You can leave them open and if it's raining a little the bit. End ones. Oh, just come your way. Open like that. There you go. All right, thank you guys so much. All right, probably time to do our little wrap up. Come here, babe. Time to do our wrap up. Yes. Okay. Okay, everybody, well, there's going to be lots of opportunities to see more. We're yes. going to be organizing and moving in and decorating and everything else. So leave us comments. We're going to also put this up on YouTube. You yep. can leave comments there. Facebook, um, um, yeah. Instagram. We're even, we're even on the, 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 Twitter, the Twitter. The Twitter. The Twitter. We're on the Twitter and <laughs> so tubes. Let us know what you want to see. We tried to be really thorough and show it off. We are so happy that Very you guys joined in thank today. Thank you guys so, so much. I think we had like up to 14 people at one wow. point, so that's wow, so that's much first, fun. First live broadcast. It's our first live broadcast. Thank you for being here with us and watching, and we appreciate it so much. I don't even know 14 people. <laughs> <laughs> we really hope that you had fun. We hope you like our new home, and thank you for sharing in our excitement. Thank you guys very, very much. It was our pleasure to show you our home, and uh, we hope to see you all again. Stay tuned. Bye.